Yo, F122. Not a huge F1 fan, but I do enjoy it. I'm just not, not a big player of F1. Um, I don't know about compounds. I mean, I've spent 17 laps. How many laps is this? Okay, that, that seems to be recommended. Oh, it's all a bit intense, all that. I don't know, Silverstone. Uh, let alone in this game. Not sure who that ghost is. Oh. Where is the ghost? Who's that ghost? Zhao! Oh, my nemesis in this series. Okay, that'll be... What am I doing at like, the It's a time trial. Qualify. It's quite. I thought that was full on brakes. Have you seen that? It's so much easier than that Monaco circuit I've been doing. Get ahead of Zal. There we go. Past him. Fantastic, you've got pole position. All right, good. So I just have to defend that. I can't overtake now. <laughs> We're not from the last circuit anyway. I've jumped in about. As we wind four, down from seven. the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three: James, Joe, and Liam Point Lawson. Eight. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the feature race gets itself underway. Seventy-three points. Oh, well, it's my first career in an F1 game. So it's Sunday, and that oh, means it's, it's race time here at Silverstone. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of the race. Damn it. So Silverstone's 3.6 miles of tarmac and 18 corners are no stranger to rain. Even in these conditions without the DRS that would normally be available, the Wellington and Hangar Straits still represent some of the best opportunities for overtaking. Let's take a look at the grid positions for today's race. James lines up on pole position and it's Guan Yu Zhou in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Lawson, Dragovic, Yuri Vips, and Lawson Porcher. beat me last race. Fittipaldi, Schwartzman, Sato, Oscar Piastri, Lungard, Samaya, Jan Deruvula. I'm joined by a man who's had many a wet race, Davide Valsecchi. Just how challenging will these conditions be out there on track? Delighted to be here, Alex. Even in this weather, nothing will be easy for them. We may have standing water, which means visibility will be a worry. They just need to stay clear of the white lines and curbs. That can cause you a real problem when it's so slippery. Okay. I know this is your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Let's not make any unnecessary risks. 
Oh, firm A conditions are in force. These regulations come into effect once the car has left the pit lane. It's quali first qualifier moment once this is good, only minor changes can be made to the car, such as small front wing adjustments, the level of fuel and tyre compound. Okay. What tyres are we rocking? I presume the team's taking care of all of that. Start the race. They're all gaining on me already. Turns out, get out of the way. Distance. A hell of a distance. Look at that. And they've probably regained it in that turn. the pack and you don't mess things up. Flat. That's reassuring. Two out of five. All my races were like this. That Monaco one was dreadful. Oh, I've lost a lot of speed on that. A lot of speed. Okay. It's lap three coming up. Well, compared to my usual driving, I'm doing okay. Cocaine, sort of thing. The Vegas is about a little bit better. Right. Right. I 
I'm worried about that tail. Ooh. Got a good reason to be. Well, I was about to say him and Molson, but he's got his teammate behind him. DRS in these conditions. Out there a little bit. On lap four. Here we go. Lost a lot of speed there. Struggling now. Keeping focus. God knows how people keep focus over 25 laps or whatever. Too cautious. Regained whatever we've lost. Oh, in place there. Let's recompose. This is 4.4 seconds. 4.4 seconds. That's alright. Make it in one piece.
racing lines. I think, I mean that's certainly my first race at Silverstone in this game, in this series, I'm sure. Yeah I'm pleased with that. Yes, you've done it! You've done it! Well done! Great stuff, mate! Great stuff! So much better than my last race. Great win then for the Carlin team today. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? What can I say? In conditions like this, it's an incredible difficult drive. But they pulled off something truly special today. They had the grip when they needed. Every time they were able to find just the right line. And they had the confidence to put the... I've got one or two races As left in see, me, I think. It's time for the podium. And I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. I like this Carmen that jumps on as tacky as it is. I thought it was just the, Ital um, the Italian so then, team. But it's time to see how this result Jesus affects French the Drivers' team. Championship. The lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. Now then, Davide um, Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Well, yeah. It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. They demonstrated a very delicate touch. I'm sure there's a whole, like, garage and stuff, you know. Right, let's have a look at this. I'm sure there's like a team thing and stuff. I can't remember. That might be enough different game. Another look. Oh, that looks nasty. Okay. Recommended for Q. A moderately aggressive tyre compound with high grip, but a shorter lifespan. Right, weather. Okay, 22 degrees, 29 degrees track. I mean, I don't, don't know enough to know anything. <laughs> Shit. The speed just feels insanely fast now. So what am I do? I'm racing for position on the grid. I've got I've got no ghost with me then. So this is just Oh, this is qualifying. Okay. Not horrible that. Room for improvement. Ooh, ooh, that was horrible. Excellent. 
all the time. Bloody hell. So, I'm in position one on the grid then. So qualifying is complete and we're all set for an exciting oh. race tomorrow. One Your top three seconds. are James, Schwartzman and Guan Yu Zhou. The that grid is set time. then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all this the... This is my cheeky shortcut that I didn't get penalised for. Or is it just... <laughs> I don't know, one point six seconds is a lot. That's, uh... Hello and welcome back a to a classic circuit. circuit. Familiar to fans the world over, this is Monza. You can hear the cars ready to go. Certainly the right fans are ready for some those action. Straights, We're all but... set. So let's get this Formula 2 race underway. Monza is one of the faster circuits in Formula 2, comprising some oh, very long straights and tight the chicanes. Two career. The engine spends so long at full throttle, in fact, I think that I engine failures are not an uncommon Making sight that here. decision being a wise that, decision. On top of that, the 3.6 miles of track are pretty hard on the gearbox, Both too. Up to F1. Here is the grid for today's race, which will be starting shortly. James lines up on pole position, and it's Robert Schwartzman in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Joe, Zendeli, Yuri Vips, and Dragovic, Armstrong, Porcher, Sato. Okay. Turn one at Monza is famous, or should I say infamous, for serious contact and incidents, especially on the opening lap. What are your thoughts on that, Davide? Yes, this chicane is a tricky one. A lot of time you see the more experienced drivers hold back from full throttle to keep themselves safe as everyone oh, the, tries the, to squeeze the into the racing line lost. after the opening straight. I'm six points behind Zao now. So after the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Okay. Oh, that was quick. For the rhythm there, who's that? Sportsman, hands out. Cheeky with his poking. Come off it. Now. How much damage have I got to my vehicle? None. Somebody's, somebody's fucking spinning me out there. Start. I just me out, lad. That was grim. Okay, now that we've got. And dealy, I bet. Aggressive. Coming after me, guys. I got the fastest lap. Messed everybody up there, didn't I? Look at that. I still haven't got my nerves back. Right, let's get some, some cool and calm. What did we do? Lost time. Yeah. We were okay coming out that straight, came out, exit speed was faster, went out the turns so we've just lost time grazing the curb, but nothing significant. Oh, no penalty, good, just within parameters. And here we go. Monster, this. Such a vacated bastard, but who, who got the best lap anyway? Oh, 
why a wheel would be so much nicer than a controller. Just for that fine steering adjustment. Is that? Do nicely. It's out. Uh, he's back, back at position five. Ooh. That was shocking, actually. But we're okay. Surprisingly. Seven point four. We're going to go up any major pass ups. Should be able to beat that time because. I messed up on the last lap twice. Sort of broke a bit late there. Not quite as clean as the previous one. Would you like to touch that thing on the side, whatever it's called? No, so makes me know. I've maximised my speed around that turn. We've got a right itch. What do you do in a real racing car when you've got an itch? Just ignore it. I presume. Thirty six four two five. Mm, that wasn't particularly great. Superb either. These laps go quick, don't they? Went to the final lap now. seconds between me and the next car. And we've only got one minute 30 second laps. Not the bad going then. Okay this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. See if I can beat my lap time then. Right. 
got back in slightly out there. Oh, don't need to do that. There was wreck my thing. Happy with that. Mm, I'm not so happy with that. Magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Carlin today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? It was down to one thing Ooh. consistent pace over everyone else out there on the track. We could spend a great deal of time talking about race and tire strategy, what has occurred on the track, but at the end of the day, the difference here was down to simply being faster on track than everyone else. Amazing skill on show. I agree with that. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. Okay, so, getting some experience. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. James takes over the lead of the driver's championship. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. Look at where they finished compared to where they started. It's not easy to cut through the field like that in Formula 2. So it was a great effort. Yeah, On to the start. teams then. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. Another team that excelled today was Dams, who make further oh, progress up the okay. table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Right. So what have I done two races? I think I've got two more to go. Session progress will be lost. I hope I don't. I haven't lost those two races, but we'll see. Okay. Um, this is the player hub. Not that. What I ought to do. Oi. I'm not interested in all that crap. Where's where's the options? I like the music. But if it's gonna get me a copyright strike then I don't like it that much. Um okay, so do 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 I don't know what this is it's like. It's like a weird sort of pretend you've got a nice car collection thing. Strange to me, this. Whatever rocks your boat, I suppose. This. I don't suppose we've. No. It's 
to the Ferrari in the collection then. I've unlocked it. I just unlock anything. Oh, this. Um. Yeah, let's get the McLaren as well. Then. And the Aston Martin DB11. Are these all unlocked for me? Hmm. Uh, looks like they are, you know. Oh, so you can drive them then. It's not just a... Um, right. So I can, like, select that. Drive car. Let's do a Pirelli hot lap. Or a drift. Let's do normal. I don't like challenging. Interesting then. So, not just F1 and F2 cars. Three wins for gold. Are we dueling at opposite ends of the track then? Funky start, was it? Um, feels weird handling, actually. It's bloody hell, stick to the F1 cars, this is weird handling. Floaty. That was nice. Some decent exit speed. Okay, so. But I don't know how I got first when he started behind me. some like brake assist on because I don't think I broke then brakes cable yeah yeah, yeah. I, I did break who's braking for me then <laughs> that's weird I don't think I've got that in the F1 or the F2 cars I specifically turn that crap off Bullshit, isn't it? That's absolute bullshit. Medium. Oh, there's several settings. No. That's the right. Oh, no. I'll take those two wins. Oh, three wins. Oh dear. I 
I don't know about that start again. Okay, maybe that brake assist was useful. <laughs> Get out of it, get out of it. Oh, there we go. Miles behind. He's started breaking already. How is he so far behind? Yeah, it's nice for a bit of late breaking, actually. Coming on way too early for my liking. It's strange going from an F2 down to a. Well, I say down to a Ferrari. And the major difference is not so much the acceleration, is the braking. So there's all that crap anyway with like the virtual showroom with supercars in there. But beyond that, then there's something that I find a bit complicated. I haven't really looked into it, that's why I find it complicated. It's this player hub business. I don't know what that podium pass is. No, it's not this. It's not this game then. This it must be somewhere else. What's all this shop? Using Bitcoin, I can make one time purchases. Oh, okay. All right, that's a bit weird. I mean, to be honest, for me, I just want to race stuff, really. So I'm not fussed about that. There's a weekly event, starts in 37 minutes. Create your own race. So I'm in the career mode at the moment. I think... Oh, right. I must have started in F2 then. That's all right then. I'm pleased with that then. Oh, round six of seven, actually. Okay. One shot qualifying round. Um, five laps. It's at night, is it? Oh, this is going to be horrible. I suppose I've got to try out all these different courses at different times of the day. Saudi Arabia. It's going to feel a bit like Monaco then. Narrow. We know like narrow, we like wide tracks, they're more forgiving. Rolling start. Oh, that's horrible. I'm not going to be in pole position there, am I? And if I'm not in pole position, that can cost me the series. Who's that up there? That's probably Zhao, who's good at these little city circuits oh man been a lot worse I don't like this circuit at all it would it's bloody dangerous Oh, I've got a handbrake, but I, I don't use handbrake. Well, how much penalties have I got? Have I got any penalties? <gasps> Sugar. 
I'm never going to be able to remember this circuit, I'm struggling as it is. Well, I mean, technically I've, I've never seen any of these turns before, so I don't really know what's happening, but... What's that ghost at where from? Just the section ghost, or is that a lap ghost? That's what I want to know. Good what? job, mate. Really okay. well done. That was a fantastic drive. That's all right, then. Oh, I can never drive from that angle. That bloody pillar in front of me. The grid is all set for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's Point quickly remind seconds, ourselves so of our a, top three. It wasn't a, a completely sealed deal, was it? Compared to the other ones with 1.6 second leads on those qualifying sessions. As the engineers make their last inspection of the cars, let's take a look at today's grid order for the race. James lines up on pole position, with Guan Yu Zhou alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Aitken, Daruvala. Okay. After the... Joe, Guan Yu Zhou, I thought it was Zhao. Oh, how was that start? Okay, it's all right. Oh man, some wind damage there. That going to stuck me throughout the entire race. This is horrible for me. I did a lot better on the qualifying lap than I did. Let's just get my mind off everybody else and just. Focus on the vehicle in the track. You're really not gonna go full speed on the those parts, just remember that. At the start of every lap, just take it nice and steady. I don't think there's much opportunity for being overtaken. So as long as I don't totally mess things up. It's easy to mess things up on this. I just, I just know it is. Okay. Right, I'm just not tussling anymore. With so. on me. Yeah, that's a horrible little turn, isn't it? And there's another couple coming up as well. What I remember. Well, I haven't thrown myself off the track yet. That's about to happen, I presume. There we go. Straight. Not see anybody. I wonder if that braking assist was on for this before then. Well, I'm sure I turned it off. You see, you've got no braking assist then. 
it was. But it doesn't seem to be making any difference, really. Wait so I can take this drive rate though off. So I, I've just got the circuit and my knowledge of the circuit, but I mean I just don't have the circuit at the moment to even think about taking that off. But it will come off one of these days. And that'll be nice. And then one of these days I'll be oh in this view. But not now because look at the nightmare of it. And then crash then. I shouldn't have changed views whilst, whilst driving. Was I in this view from the start of the race? I feel different all of a sudden. Or was I in a third person view before? I'm on the, I'm on the roof, I've not, not got a driver view at the moment. Sort of above the driver's head. But to me this is virtually <gasps> first person. Oh some nasty handling there to be fair and some time gained on me. No, that's the third person I think. And well, this is alright, I'm surviving. not good. Lost a lot of time way down there, thinking that that was the chicane actually. So I was actually not showing down just for that corner, but the next corner, which is here. First time I knocked them off the track. He's on my tail a bit, that's out. Can't, can't look yet. It is. Shaking him on. He's relentless. But it would have been nice if he was not second position. It would have given my series victory a lot more buffer. I think. He's making me nervous just sat on my rear like this. Damage there. Okay, final lap. Just gotta survive. Help matters. Where is he? making me so nervous. And it's also to do come off again. This view, I can't get used to it. I'm going to stick it out though because this is my sort of compromise between third and first person view. So I'm working my way up to first person, that's the idea. I've been a third person driver forever. 
I like the immersion of first person and the challenge as well, much limited view. And you've got to know the tracks to do that. Sorry, Zell. Hold on to it. Oh, you worked hard for that one. Congratulations. Well done. One more race in the series. Now there's a chance. That I can be hit in So as they place. climb out of the car, the Carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Still win the six. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. I can't figure out where I've put my controller. Oh, there we go. Okay. And now, let's take a look at the driver's standings. James increases their championship lead. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. They pushed and pushed and found some fantastic performance. It was a pleasure to watch. And here's how things are shaping up in okay. the team's championship. The lead at the top comes down after a... Look at these highlights. Why not in Pult for, uh... Oh, that is me. Probably. Only I would drive like that. That's where I lost my front wing. Damaged it. Yeah, that must be me then. Um... So, I think, I mean, that's, I'm 21 points ahead, so I don't have to even come second place necessarily. If he gets 27 points, that'll put him on 1, 5, 1. So, I need 8 points, basically. So, I need more than 8 points, so I can come 5th place. And I'm doing okay. Obviously, I'm going to aim to win, but... Takes the pressure off a bit. It's an interesting circuit. What have we got going on here? Where is it? Who is this? Gas Marina. Okay. It's going to be challenging. I've got a feeling. Let's not go crazy. Take our time with it. i 
a make or break victories that turn. Oh, this is not pleasant either. Jesus, there's some sharp turns here. Nice to hand, have handled that more fluidly. But I can't with that wheel. I just it's all or nothing on the old controller. Doesn't have to be, but I've got the brain to just steer slightly. That's why I have to like make. Big step adjustments like that. Okay, so I've just got to retain pole position. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. <sighs> James, Joe and Felipe Dragovic. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the feature race tomorrow, so make sure... Two seconds on Joe. This is the final race of the championship. So it's race day for our young drivers here in the United Arab Emirates, where the Yas Marina circuit is about to play host to the Abu Dhabi Formula 2 race. Let's get started. Here are the starting positions for today's race. James lines up on. I'm sitting here quite emotional next to my friend Davide Valsecchi. Here we are at the end of the F2 calendar and the atmosphere is electric. I have no doubt the drivers will be giving it everything they have out there today. I can't wait to get underway. Hey, Alex. Okay, now that we've got some good points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay. That was a late start, wasn't it? Oh, God. Good job, I don't need high in fifth place. The call back up to second. Taking him round the outside. Nicely done. I don't know why I looked in my rear view. In the, in the middle of the turn. Stop there. I've recovered my standing as well in this championship because I was really not driving. I was not. I was not overtaking anybody in the earlier races, from what I recall. It was rather complete. And I don't think I've done down the AI because I don't think there is an option to. I just got your style of driving. So I've gone for standard, it's like casual standard or expert, and I went for standard. And actually, it's quite casual, the standard. I don't have to worry about anything. But I haven't had to actually have a pit stop or anything like that, but I haven't had to manage anything. It's neat. It'd be cool. I wouldn't mind having a look at expert. But actually, to be honest, I've loved the subtleties of racing. Because I've had a go on the F1, but F2 as well. Um, 
I don't even consider NASCAR. I've never really had anything against NASCAR, really. Like the Indy 500 or anything like that. I know a lot of people take the piss. With it, oh, turn left, turn left, whatever. But no, I've, I've liked NASCAR, actually. I, from what I've seen of it, it's all right. I'd go and watch a NASCAR. Dying though. It's just a different racing style than I'm used to with the arcade races and battering people out of the way actually. It's, it's nice to do a proper race. But I also need to get a wheel and make up my mind. I'm gonna go for the Thrustmaster T248. ability to stick a shifter on and I think it's the right price point for the level of seriousness I have with sim racing which is really just casual but don't want to be prohibited by a controller spend a grand on sim wheel. Cheaper than actual motors for. <laughs> a lot cheaper. Safer. And convenient. to an end. One second to last lap. And we'll be looking at a victory, hopefully, in the series. As soon as I start thinking ahead of that, I'm out of the zone, I'm out of the here and now. Back into the area now. Each turn as they come. Back into the last lap. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 15.6 seconds. Was. Oh, that's just our teammate, though. wasn't it? But now I'm going past this lap on this lap. Basically stopped again to avoid that on my last lap. Just do flat out twenty laps of each course to get used to them. That's horrible. That last lap. A lot of improvements that can be made. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. I 
almost forgot the fastest lap on that last lap. Ten seconds behind me in the next car. It was eight last lap. this lap. Yes! Yes! We've done it! That is the world champion right there! Well done! Left up the difficulty then now. And so the celebrations begin and well earned they are indeed. It might have looked simple at times but as any racing driver will tell you Competing yeah, at this level at the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now. We have a new Formula 2 World Drivers' Champion. Carlin have pulled off a sublime performance to secure the top step of the podium today. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? It's a difficult one, but they got to it's go not. for the Carlin driver. They did a great job at getting the most of the tires without losing pace. That's a good skill to have. With that result, Virtuosi secure the team's championship title. They have been truly outstanding since the very first round of this thrilling championship. Oh, I don't want to look at highlights. Uh, I wouldn't mind just having one more look at that. Replay. One more look. First look at that replay. Um, what's the best view? It's probably just going to be driver view, isn't it? Well, we've got Matt Spike. Lost all that positioning at the start and then regained it in an instant. view with this pillar in the, right in the middle. Well, they don't have eight pillars. First lap was probably my better lap.
15 bit driving. Right, that's that. Um, let's go out of that and then advance that. And what happens now then? Whilst you don't earn any bonuses for completed practice programs in F2, it is useful to learn how the F2 car performs around the track. So, is that? Oh, I can negotiate other contracts now, can I? So that wasn't the championship, that was the series then. So like, I can, oh, Hamilton is my teammate, all the stuff. Lando Norris there. I want my teammate to be Alonso. Um, I don't understand it though. So Hamilton. Season length. Oh, okay, I get you. So we could do all of those courses. Right, or just Bahrain, Miami, Spain. At least there's no Monaco. Is the Monaco on the 16? I can't bear it. There is, is there? No. I'll go for the 16. Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Am I in Formula One now? Of course I am, because I've got Hamilton. Oh, so I started in F2, I'm now in Formula One. Let's have a look what the difference is. As you can be at race weekends, you'll earn a claim. Perks of the job. Corporate contracts, right. So, all these messages, your career mailbox, stay informed. Who writes all this stuff? Um, so, is that my first race? I'm going to do some R&D. There's no R&D in progress. So can I get some powertrain development on the go? Recommend an upgrade, improved energy store cells. Go for that. Um, We'll just push into that. Right. I developed some stuff on the chassis as well. Why is the energy store cells coming under the chassis? Damn it. I want to do, let's do powertrain upgrade. What's the cylinder going to do? Oh, okay, the last one was a recommended upgrade. And then, can I do the gearbox as well? Right, so they'll all be in place for... Saturday, 13th of March. Secondary wing flaps. Let's get those on the go as well. Insufficient points. Okay. Uh, 
Um, what's this mean? I don't know what's fitted. Corporate contracts, market value two million. What is that? I better not be the last. No, I'm not. I'm right at the bottom there. Okay, let's advance the time to race day. We've had all those improvements Our new parts made. have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Sweet. I think, I think when I first tried the F1 mode, I think I just crashed out and gave up and then went into F2. It's all starting to ring a bell now. So, can't do anything with those other than read them. Bahrain Grand Prix. All right, let's let's go to it then. Come on. Um, now we'll just go to the race. Don't know anything about tyres? Other than you want the treads to match. Hey, right. welcome to the team. Good to finally meet you. I'm Max. I'm the head of R&D here. I've been following your career closely and I have to say... Who's talking to me? I think we're going to get on great. Uh, this is your machine. From here you can track your performance, look into R&D upgrades and much more. Let me know if you run into any problems. Neither of you are talking to me. Okay. Practice one, 30 minutes. Qualifying and then race. Let's go to the practice. No, oh, nerve wracking. Hello folks and welcome to Paddock Pass, your pre-race edition for this, the inaugural round of the 2022 Formula One World Championship. And I've got to say, it feels great to be back. As is tradition, there is something of an air of a first day back at school on arrival here. But it's more than that, because the new era of Formula One has arrived. And with it, the eagerly anticipated new car regulations which have been designed to help promote better racing with clean sculpted lines, swooping rear and front wings, which should allow cars to follow each other more closely, new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tires, the return of ground effect, and a reduction of aerodynamic physical adornments, the new cars look strikingly different, all while improving safety and pushing the limit of technical ingenuity. So then, which teams have interpreted the rules most effectively, and which drivers will adapt to their new car the quickest? leading the charge against the rest of the pack. Only time will tell. As always, we can't wait for this season to begin. But for now, from us, that's your... Must be awesome working on an F1 team. I don't think I'd be fussed about driving the damn thing in reality. Like fantasy world, yes. 
real life. So this no first really race right. of the season is almost <laughs> quite difficult for us trackside and for those back at the factory as well, as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. Okay. Three practice sessions by the park Grand Prix weekend. Not only do they give you an opportunity to learn track, but they also offer a range of practice programs which can be completed to advance the development of the car. Completed practice programs will earn you resource points, which can be spent on upgrades. Additionally, each program offers a number of development boosts. Completing one of these gives your R&D team valuable insights into your car's performance, resulting in cheaper upgrades. You may adjust your car setup over the course. Uh, you must hand back two sets of your dry tyre allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. Okay. Each free practice session, you must hand back two sets of your dry tyre allocation. Okay. Let's get a few laps under our belt. How many laps? Is the, is the pit pit speed limited to fifty mph? That's quite fast, actually, isn't it? Tires are warm. Steering is very different to the F2, that's for sure. It's a lot more responsive. Everything is a lot more responsive as well. Everything is. Nice. I expect the 
feel some of that. Not as dramatic as like a rally car, but okay. So I'm improving then. wide on that. First time handling an F1, so I'm pleased with that. Well, not ever in any game, but I'm not even in this game. I don't think. Oh, I've improved again. Three seconds saved. perfectly anyway. Nasty. Very nasty. Oh. I actually say one seven Three, three again, and I've lost it there. Maybe that's what I get. It says there one out of twenty at the top right. What's that? Is that am I of, of the twenty drivers? Am I the fastest lap? I'd be impressed if I was. Delta's 1.4 back in there. Well, I just 
go next lap. Come out the pits. Is he, is he, is he at the side of me? I'm going to smash into him. Delta now. Don't overtake me. Just call it a day. completed five laps. did I do? Get another couple of laps in there. Time for it. Oh, this is luck for them. exit there. It's an absolutely horrible exit. Yeah. 
Oh, I'll do that. Okay, we'll push ourselves for lap five then. Lap six. Well, we've done five laps anyway. So. I should have really gone into the pits then, after that fifth lap, on that fifth lap. I thought I needed to cross the line. Sudden. I suppose it is like that though in real life though. <laughs> it's a bit jerky. And then we'll be back in dearly. I've got no resource rewards then. Oh, are you joking? Do, do I need a strategy? Track is busy. 10 out of 20. What's going on here? Oh, 
target time. Right, well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm done. Be doing time management. Mm -hmm. Over three laps, conserve Hobston energy. Deploy as effectively as possible during a lap in order to achieve competitive pace. ERS harvesting is most effective under heavy braking, but also when coasting. Be aware of using overtake mode too frequently. Try using overtake mode in short bursts at the beginning of straights. And traction is sufficient. I'm just going to accelerate time. What happens? So I only get right. So in that sort of twenty-minute practice session, there's, I should be expecting about ten laps. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three: James, Leclerc, and Lando Norris. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. What about free practice is over. Oh, God. It's a different circuit now. Well, I think I'll call it a day there. But it's nice to have moved up onto F1 now, though. Yeah, so that's career mode ready and waiting. Okay, catch you later.